Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna talk about Annie's dish soap. It's quite amazing because I've actually been able to replace a lot of products around our home because of this dish soap, believe it or not. It is naturally derived um, you know, from plants. It is hypoallergenic. It's so good for your hands because it doesn't dry out your hands like other you know, brands. And it also contains calamansi fruit. Um, it's kind of like a lime. Calamansi actually contains 30 times more vitamin C than lemons. So that's why it's so good for your hands. And it's so concentrated, so it's so powerful. You don't actually need that much to um, use each time you're, you're cleaning your dishes or whatever that you're using it for. So I'm just gonna quickly show you a few different ways that I'm using it now. Um, I used to actually buy this fruit and vegetable spray that was like six bucks and I don't buy that anymore because I just use this now to wash all my fruits and vegetables. Um, I even reused like an old shampoo bottle. Uh, back then you could get labels from your orders and you can label other bottles with the dish uh, detergent uh, name there. But now you can't, they don't come with them anymore, but that's fine. But um, yeah, I grabbed an old bottle that I finished and I just fill it up with dish soap now. Um, I used to buy these too. They were like four or five bucks a bottle depending on where you get them from. These are all purpose sprays and I'm going to show you in a sec how you can make your own with the dish soap but I don't buy them anymore. I make insecticides like natural insecticides with the dish soap now. I make disinfecting wipes. I've even made floor cleaners, towel cleaners, granite top um, you know, cleaners, stove cleaners, uh, anything you can think of. Did I even mention my car? Uh, yeah, I wash my car with it. I've even cleaned the stucco outside my house uh, with this soap. So it's actually so powerful, but so gentle on everything. So it's it's truly amazing. But why don't we just get started with making, um, let's make some disinfecting wipes first. So I'm just gonna show you how this looks. So you just open this up like that and peel off the top. Oh, just like that. So this product is actually FDA approved too. So that means you can safely consume it, but it's not gonna taste very good. So when you are making disinfecting wipes, um, I prefer to use isopropyl alcohol. So this one is 99%. And the reason why I bought 99% is so that it's easier to do the calculations because um, in order to make a disinfecting product with isopropyl alcohol, you do want to mix it so that it's about 70% um, uh, alcohol because if it's more or less it won't work for things like bacteria and viruses and things like that so it's good to try to mix it to about 70% alcohol so for this one I'm going to make 70% alcohol so I have a beaker here so uh, what I'm gonna do first is put in my alcohol so this is a cookie jar that I had. Um, I don't use it anymore, but when the lid is closed, it's sealed. So that's what you want to get is a, some sort of container that can seal, but easy enough for you to open to um, grab your wipes. And another thing I use too are um, you know paper towels. And I use this bounty one here. I'm gonna show you in a sec how that's done. So anyways, I'm going to pour in my alcohol first so I can measure and make sure that it is the right amount before I add my water. So I'm going to make about 500 milliliters of liquid for this jar. So if it's 500 milliliters, I'm going to put 350 milliliters of alcohol in here. And these bottles of alcohol are actually quite inexpensive. So that's why I've been making my own wipes. Uh, before, I used to make my own wipes with um, reusable towels, like little, uh, actually little um, baby face cloths. But um, over the years, I've misplaced and lost a lot of them, so I don't have enough now to use the, uh, those ones. So that's why I use paper towels now. I'm just gonna put a little bit more in, so it's 350. There we go. So there's 350 milliliter of water there, and then I'm just, uh, sorry, alcohol, and then I'm just gonna add water now. There we go. So I already pre-mixed that. So in this, I will use about just a teaspoon of dish soap. 
And the reason why I um, add dish soap to my disinfecting wipes is um, it's good to have a little bit of soap in your mixture because it'll actually help break up some of the oils that you're, you might be cleaning. It'll help kind of break through some of that. And I heard that also it's, uh, it's good for some of those uh, bacteria and viruses too. Um, some soaps can break through their, I don't know, membrane or something. But I'm not a scientist, so I don't know. But I've been making this exact formula for over three years now, and it's been working fine. We've used it around, you know, the counter when we've had meat and things like that on it. So that's why this, I know this works, at least for us. So that's done there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is cut this down the size because obviously that doesn't fit the jar, right? I'm just going to quickly cut it and I do suggest using a, I mean if you have a sharp knife that's um, straight edge like that, use a straight edge, but if you don't, use a serrated one, but the serrated one is going to just create like a crazy, I don't know, paper towel storm for you and it's gonna, there's going to be pieces everywhere. So I prefer using a straight edge, but if you don't have one, just use a serrated knife. So I'm just going to eyeball it, so I'm just going to cut it around there about halfway. A really sharp knife. So now you're just going to remove the center. Just kind of push it down and then just pull it out like that. And then if the paper towel is too thick it might not go in. So what I've been doing with this because these paper towels are quite big. I'm just just removing a bit. Let's see how that works now. I'm going to have to do this a couple times. There you go. Kind of open it up a bit and then I, I actually pull it up from the center like that so that it can dispense. And then I'm just gonna give this a quick mix. So all the dish soap has melted into the solution. I'm just going to pour this. That's it. And now it's going to spread and then soak up the whole roll. And then you just leave it for a couple minutes and then it'll be ready to use. And then every time you need one, just open the lid and then just pull one out. That's it. And then after you're done, you can just throw them into the compost because it's paper towel and it's biodegradable. So there you go, your disinfecting wipes. And again, like I said, I've been making this for over three years now and it works so well. Um, if you don't have a cookie jar, I've been saving these too. These work a little bit better for the fat paper rolls that I had. Um, you can just pull the lid off of these ones like that. There's still some in there, so I can't use it yet, but they also make great dispensers too. If you don't have a cookie jar or something to use, um, I'll show you how to make the all-purpose spray. So these are great. I mean, these bottles, you just twist the top off like that. And I've already filled it with water, so I don't have to measure. That's all, that's all I do. I just open these up like this. And then I just pour the water inside. So I don't have to figure out how much uh, to mix, how much water I need to mix in for each bottle. Oh, see. So these bottles are just a smidge under one liter each. So there's approximately close to two liters of liquid in here. And so for two liters of liquid, I mix in about one tablespoon of soap. That's it. Just gonna clean that. And then also to note, you want to add all your liquids into your container first and then the dish soap last. The reason is if you put the dish soap in first and it's sitting at the bottom and then you're pouring liquids over it, you're going to create a huge bubble bath in your bowls and things like that and you don't want that. It'll be really hard for you to actually, um, you know, <laughs> put your liquid into your bottles afterwards with all that foam. So some people like to add uh, essential oils here if your um, all-purpose spray is um, meant for something that needs some sort of disinfectant. You could add 
some sort of essential oil that disinfects, but I don't like to use essential oils in these types of sprays anymore because I'm starting to find that some essential oils leave some sort of stain or some sort of odor over time and so, or streaks too. So that's why I don't use it anymore. This has actually just been enough for what we need. So we don't need the extra smell or uh, you know, disinfecting property from essential oils. This has been perfectly fine. So that's it, just a little stir like that and then just pour it back into the bottle. And then afterwards, uh, you can check to make sure everything's going well by just spraying back into the container if you want. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually quite sudsy, even though I only put in basically half a tablespoon in each bottle, but it creates a lot of bubbles already. So yeah, you can just check your, um, your product like that too, giving, by giving it a little spray and see if it works for you. But yeah, like I said, I've used this so many different ways. So if you have a chance to buy this dish soap, please, please just have some fun with it. Um, make, make up some products and see if you can actually replace a lot of yours because I haven't actually bought that many um, products anymore over the years because of this dish soap, you know? So, and from what you can see, I only use like two tablespoons of um, soap for two of these bottles and also disinfecting wipes. So I didn't actually have to use that much. So that's why if you can imagine how far this can stretch, it can last you a really long time. But if you are just using it for, you know, washing your dishes, then obviously you'll use it a bit faster. But then again, um, this, this product is such an amazing miracle product. So I do highly recommend you give this product a try if you haven't done so yet. And yeah, and just keep in mind that you can actually use this for more than just your dishes. But anyways, let me know down below if you've actually tried this any other way. And yeah, I would love to hear from you because you know, there's so many different ways that people have been using this and I'm learning all the time. So I would love to hear how you're using it if um, you know, you're using it one of the ways that I haven't actually mentioned in this video. Anyways, have an awesome day and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.